will eventually be a WWE Hall of Famer? Who do you want you think? to I think? So. I don't Thank think you very I know. much. I appreciate it. Uh, I think uh, some people would be hateful on you and say, absolutely not. I will dread the day that he is inducted in the Hall of Fame, but that's okay. When you go in the Hall of Fame, who do you want to induct you in the Hall of Fame? Grace, my wife. Of course. Interesting. Yeah. That is Why that, is that interesting? I, mean, no, I, mean, I live every day with her. She is the mother of my two beautiful baby girls, and she knows me more than anyone and supported me through everything all day, every day. So it's it's a natural fit. I, it does make sense. I don't know if you want to pick like a mentor for you or someone who like. Maurice is my mentor. That is. She <laughs> mentors me. She guides me. She babies me. But I honestly, I would stay here longer. But they are One last ready thing. to go. W who's the WWE superstar that you were starstruck by? Who's the who was the one person that you met that, you know, a wrestling fan that you were starstruck by? Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I, I don't get starstruck. The first time I actually met Thank Hulk you. Hogan, though, uh, it was a long time ago. And it was before he was doing Hogan Knows Best. Yeah. And so he goes, hey, can I ask you a question? And I just got off the real world and the challenges, right? Yeah. He goes, tell me about this reality stuff. And I went, I'm giving advice to Hulk Hogan the first time <laughs> yeah. I ever met him. This yeah. is incredible to me, like, cause he's like an icon, like he's, he's, he's Hulk Hogan, he's you know. But it was pretty great. That's cool. Well, good man. seeing you, buddy. Good seeing you. Dude. Yo, come Mike, real quick, let me get you real quick. What do you got? I got you. What you got? Uh, what was the point in your career when you realized you made it? I still don't think I made it. No. No, I think. Uh, well, if you want the Miz to ask, oh, I made it when the first day I stepped foot on the real world. Yeah. But Mike would tell you like, no, like I, I feel like I still have a lot more to prove. Which, when do you think you'll like? I mean, obviously you look never. good still. Never. I'm never. I'll never be content with whatever I'm doing because whenever I find a goal and I succeed at the goal, I find a new goal that is so far away and above that can never happen. Like for instance. Uh, being on the real world. I'll give yeah. you that example. I was in college. No way I was going to get the real world. Not a chance in hell. Got in the real world. Holy cow. I did it. Whoa. All right. Well, now I want to be a WWE superstar. No way it's going to happen. Get him 6'1", not full, 6'7", 300 pounds, yeah, yeah. pure solid muscle. No way. No way it's going to happen. I did it. Got into WWE. I want to be WWE champion. I want to main event WrestleMania. No way that's going to happen. Absolutely keep going. not. Just the keep going. Keep going. Boom. That's it. Now, now it's like, oh man, now what's the next goal? What's the next goal? What's the next goal? So I'm always finding new goals for me. Uh, and if they don't happen, then I just find new goals to try to work my hardest to get them. No, that's awesome. The real world, they're doing all these homecomings. You know, they all, are they, have you been talked to go back and do New York or what's? Uh, so I don't even, so I don't even know, like, my castmates, I think about, like, who would go back. Lori would probably go back. I don't know if Coral, I don't know if Kevin would. Yeah. I don't know if Kevin would, so I don't even think it would, it's, it's a real thing. It's been fun happen. to see him, but yeah, yeah it's real. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I love that they're doing that because you know to see like New Orleans, like I love that cast. That was the reason why I wanted to be on the Real World because it, my Melissa tonight. was so funny. Oh my God, that song was, that was just so always great. in my head. I thought it was great. So yeah, like to see them going back and doing the homecomings. Like I love everything that MTV and Buna Murray has done. Uh, I don't think it's even on MTV anymore, but yeah. still, it, that's what I think about when I think of the Real World. And so, I'm honestly, we're back in New York. Like, honestly, every time I come back here, I go to the 632 house. Hudson and check out the house. Just be like, man, like, that's fun. That's where the Miz started. Yeah, that's I mean, where it Essentially, all, that's it, where the TV. 100%, that's where it first started. That's insane. Do you, with that with the catapult, with you being on the show, was that the one that got you started in the WWE? Was that the that kind of... What do you mean? Like, did the WWE see that and say, hey, here's a no, guy? No, 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 no. If anything, it was like, whenever you're on a reality show back then, you were like not even looked at as a talent. You look like a no talent hack. Like you're on a reality show, you can't do anything. Yeah. Back then, that's the way people looked at reality. Like, it, and still, there's still that stigma a little bit today, but not as much because of Instagram, YouTube, all these different avenues of, of reality. Yeah. So it, it doesn't, it's, it's different. Last thing, your training. What do you do in the gym right now? How do you maintain your size? Cause you gotta be- I have a trainer to, to be honest, uh, that literally, I have to have a trainer in order to motivate me, like I to get into the gym. But once I'm in the gym, I'm on it. Like I'm, I'm just getting after it. So yeah, my my guy Matt Blank, he does a great job, and uh, really motivates me and gets me to where I need to be so I can perform at peak level. You look good, my friend. Thanks, dude. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you.